On segment two tonight, the story of an eight-year-old girl from Vallejo who defied all odds by escaping a kidnapper who had already killed at least two other girls. Her name is Mitzi Sanchez, and she is now 24 years old. For years, Mitzi refused to even think about what happened to her. But now she's sharing her incredible story of survival with KTVU's Ted Rollins. In December 1999, seven-year-old Ziana Fairchild disappeared from her home in Vallejo. Nobody knew it at the time, but Ziana had already been murdered by a local taxi driver named Curtis Dean Anderson, who had also kidnapped and killed seven-year-old Amber Schwartz from Pinole and would later claim to have killed 13 other girls. Is there anybody that's a more of a dangerous society than someone like that? Then, on August 12, 2000, an eight-year-old second grader named Mitzi Sanchez was walking home alone from Vallejo's Highland Elementary School. It was the day of my birthday party, and I wanted to help my mom get everything set up. I was two blocks from home, and I noticed a gentleman sitting in his car. It was Curtis Dean Anderson. As I got closer, I noticed he was watching me through his rearview mirror and my gut instinct told me to cross the street. But excited for her birthday party, Mitzi kept walking. Anderson got out and asked her to help him grab a roll of duct tape out of his car. As soon as I reached in to grab the duct tape from the floorboard of the car, he just leaned over me from behind and he put his hand over my mouth. Within seconds, Anderson was driving away past Mitzi's house, where her mom was inside getting ready for the birthday party. And I'm watching my house. I just remember thinking, I want to be home so bad. I wish I was home. Anderson drove her across the freeway to this shopping center parking lot. He made me change my clothes. He, at this point, pulls out alcohol, and he poured the alcohol in said drink it. That night was spent in the parking lot of this truck stop off Highway 80 on the outskirts of Vallejo where Anderson abused Mitzi and pulled out a chain. It was like one of those long silver link chains and he tied it really tight around my leg and locked it up with a padlock and I thought this is it like I'm not going to see my family again. Meanwhile, word spread quickly that another little girl from Vallejo was missing. Vallejo police are again asking for the public's help tonight in locating a missing eight-year-old girl. Police say Midzi Sanchez was last seen at about three o'clock this afternoon. Well, you're, you're searching for every little tiny clue that might lead you to something. He would put up blankets and towels to cover up the window so nobody could see inside. He would leave me in the car to go watch my mom cry on TV. Really bad, because I want my daughter back. Then, two days after the kidnapping, Anderson left Mitzi alone and left behind his ring of keys. I just picked the smallest one and unlocked the padlock that he had changed around my leg. A few hours later, Curtis Dean Anderson was in custody and Mitzi Sanchez was home. Mitzi's father carried her in as dozens of people celebrated her return. It was surreal. It was unbelievable. It was uh, miraculous. And to think a child that young was able to free herself and get away from this is just stuff that's stranger than fiction. Mitzi had her birthday party, but things would never be the same. Although everyone was there to show their love and support, I was still not okay. For the next few years, Mitzi was in therapy. Known as the kidnapped girl, she struggled to fit in at school. Her parents also struggled. Then, after Mitzi turned 12, things got worse. I was loaded, drunk, doing God knows what. I remember thinking that this, this girl's self-destructive and, and, and feeling really bad, knowing that most likely her encounter with the... Uh, 
with the child kidnapper is is the reason why she's so self-destructive and figured it was a matter of time before you know she turned up dead somewhere in 2009 Mitzi then 16 was severely injured as a passenger in a drunk driving accident once again she was fighting for her life this time though things would be different coming home from the accident from the hospital I found out I was pregnant with my daughter who's now six and that was life-changing for me. That was my wake-up call. Now 24, Mitzi is living a clean life, still in Vallejo, working and raising her daughter. She also helps counsel families of missing children. This is what I'm here for. This is my purpose. When I think about Sienna and Amber and all of the other girls that didn't make it, I just, sometimes I'm like overwhelmed with the feeling of, like, why me? Curtis Dean Anderson was sentenced to 300 years in prison. He died in 2007 from kidney failure. Now, Mitzi says she owes it to the children Anderson killed and other victims to make sure she makes a difference with her life. Ted Rollins, KTVU, Fox 2 News. What a story. When you think about everything that she's gone through and then to see her now and how she's talking and how it seems like she's thriving and how she has a little child, great to see. And she said she found purpose and so brave. Mm -hmm.